Hello, this is Rinti with Daily News Analyze. I'm Farah Fajal with you. Let us have a look to the Daily News Highlights. President Gautabi Rajapaksa has signified his approval for a presidential commission of inquiry to delve into a violation in the administration, management and functions of the central bank, including fraudulent transactions that had been entered into by the government or public officials during the last few years. A special committee aimed at rectifying the salary anomalies of the university academic and non-academic staffers will be set up soon, said Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa. The Prime Minister also directed Finance Ministry Secretary S.R. Atigal to conduct a thorough study over the salary anomalies of the university system and recommend a mechanism through which the salary anomaly is rectified. A study has revealed that the three main reasons for homicide in Sri Lanka are land disputes, extramarital affairs and clashes erupted under the influence of alcohol or drugs, National Authority for the Protection of Victims of Crime and Witnesses Director General Udaya Kumara Amarasinghe has said. He said the organized crimes such as demanding ransom, kidnapping or clashes between underworld gangs were all secondary to the above reason. Cinnamon Gardens police yesterday arrested 12 students of the Colombo University in connection with a clash between two groups of students which left two students seriously injured. Police said that this incident has taken place at the university premises and investigations began following a complaint by the university authorities. The injured students are receiving treatment at the Colombo National Hospital, police said. Three Sri Lankan students have died of smoke inhalation in Azerbaijan reports foreign media. All three victims are students at Western Caspian University in Baku. The victims are identified as Taruki Amaya, Tausi Jayakodi and Malsha. The identity of the foreign students who died in the tragic incident in the Bail settlement of Sabail district of Baku has been revealed APA reports. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi arrives in Colombo on Monday morning on a brief official visit while Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov arrives on Tuesday morning, according to the announcements by the Chinese and Russian missions in Colombo. They are both here on tight schedules for separate top-level meetings with the government to discuss the entire range of bilateral relations, according to government sources. The Presidential Commission investigation into the Easter Sunday terror attacks has already recorded statements from 345 persons as statements are to be recorded from a number of parties in the future. A commission spokesman said that statements were recorded from those who have made complaints to the commission and those whose names have been mentioned in these complaints. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa as Minister of Buddha Sasana and Cultural Affairs has appointed a committee headed by retired High Court Judge Garmin Saratodri Singha to look into the activities of the Central Council Fund CCF between 2016 to 2019. New Delhi asserting that terrorism is a growing problem across the world. Foreign Relations Minister Dinesh Gunawardena said on Friday that India and Sri Lanka are working together to combat the menace. The Daily News Analyze was brought to you by Farah Faisal. Continue with us on Rain TV's Daily News Analyze. Thank you.